The purpose of this screencast is to demonstrate how to do the median median line. Suppose you're given a data set such as the one I've illustrated below and need to represent this data set as a linear equation. The median median line is one way to do that. I've also plotted the data and it looks sort of linear. It's scattered a bit, but let's take a look at it. Going to the web, I just found a data set of a number of different cities and from that I took the data saying the percentage of the people earning less than five thousand dollars per year and the number of murders per million people in the population. These cities were different sizes, they had different unemployment rates, but these two particular bits of data is what I chose to look at. So on the x-axis, you have the percentage of age earners are learning, earning less than $5,000. And on the vertical axis, the number of murders per 1 million people. So the first step in this process is to sort the data. Sort the data from smallest to largest. I'm going to sort the data according to the x value, not the city number. Now the data is sorted with the lowest percentage of people earning less than $5,000 per year is at the top of the list and the highest percentage of people earning less than $5,000 are at the bottom of the list. The city number is regardless, doesn't make any difference. Now that the data is sorted, I need to group it into three groups. There are 17 data points. 17 is not evenly divisible by 3. It is divisible by 3 with groups of 5 with 2 left over. What I'm going to do with those leftover data points is put 1 in the first group and 1 in the last group. So my three groups at least will be symmetrical. There. The first group has 6, the second group has 5, and the third group has 6. Naturally, if you had a number of data points evenly divisible by three, all three groups would be the same size. Had the remainder been one, I would have put the extra data point in the middle group. In all cases, the, the data is sorted relatively evenly and symmetrically. For each of the three groups now, I must find the median x value and the median y value. That is the data point that's in the middle. When there are an even number of data points, you have to take the average of the two that are in the middle. If there are an odd number of data points, merely take the middle data point. I'll start with the middle group because that has an odd number. The median x value is 19.1. The median y value is not 15.7. Now, y values also have to be sorted. So now I'm just going to sort the middle group of y values once again from smallest to largest. After a momentary glitch, we see that the y values are sorted from smallest to y largest. So the median y value is 18.1. So that is the summary point for the middle data point, 19.1, 18.1. Now to find the summary points for the other two data sets, I'm going to have to take the average of the two middle points. Very straightforward in the first data set. The average of those two is 16.5. So the median x for the first group is 16.5. And the median y value is, wait a minute, you got to sort the data. That particular group, once again, from smallest to largest before I can say what it is. So hang on while I sort the data. So the average of 8.7 and 11.2 is... 
9.95. Okay, got to do the same at the bottom. What do we have to do first? Did you catch that? Sorted the data, at least the Y values. The X values are already sorted. So the median X is the average between 23.1 and 24.7. So that's 23.9. And the median Y is the average of 28.9, 35.7. And that comes out to be 32.3. Cool. I got three summary points. A summary point for the first set of data, summary point for the middle set of data, and a summary point for the last set of data. We're all set to create the line. We're going to use two of these summary points, the first and the last, to calculate the slope of the median median line and we'll use the middle summary point as a data point on that line. So the first and last to calculate the slope and the middle one for a point, a given point on the line. Here goes nothing for the slope. So we'll put, ooh, what's that word there? Whoop, whoop. Not a slope. That colon doesn't belong in there. The slope is equal to parentheses 9.95 y1 minus 32.3, that's y2, divided by parentheses 16.5 x1 minus 23.9. Close parentheses. Go for it. There's the slope. So now we have the slope and a particular point. 19.1, 18.1. And now for the grand finale, putting it all together into the median median equation. Uh, I guess there's an N at the end of that word. We're going to use that middle point, so I do y minus 18.1 equals the slope 3.02027 times x minus 19.1. There is the equation of the median-median line. This linear equation approximates this particular data set. So one will be able to make predictions should there be a lower or higher percentage of the number of people below $5,000 per, per income, per annual income. I'm going to do just a little cheat here. I don't know how to get the software to graph that particular line, but I do know how to get the software to graph a different line. So if I click on here and add a trend line, make sure it's a linear trend line, there it is. I don't know which algorithm the software uses to create the trend line, but I do know the median median line would be in approximately in the same position as the line you see on the screen. Well, enough of this. You've had enough information, but we better recap before I run away. The median median line, how do we get it? Its purpose is to come up with a linear equation that approximates a data set. The first thing that has to be done is the data set needs to be ordered from smallest to largest in terms of the x values. Then the data set needs to be grouped into three equal pieces. If the number of data points is not evenly divisible by three, the, remaining, the remainder data points must be distributed symmetrically about the data points, the, about the groups. Should there be a remainder of one, the extra data point goes in the middle group. Should there be a remainder of two, the extra data point goes in 
the first and the last group. Once the groups have been made, then summary points for each group must be found. The median x of each group is the x coordinate of the summary point, and the median y of each group is the summary point of each, the summary point, whatever, the y value of the summary point. So, remember, sometimes the y's need to be sorted in addition to having the x sorted. The first summary point and the third summary point are used to calculate the slope. And then with that slope and the middle summary point, the median-median equation can be written. I hope that made some sense to you. It made some sense to me. In any case, ciao for now. <laughs>